Hey folks, it's a hot day here today in Raleigh, North Carolina, July, sorry, June 29th, 2010. And as I'm getting ready to go home on my bike here today, I thought I would do a little bit of a video uh, to thank a friend who gave me some very nice pins uh, a couple months ago, and I've been neglectful and not pointing them out. So this pin here, hopefully you can see it. Not sure if you can actually see that there, but there it is. Yep. This pin was given to me by Aeroliner 750 up in Long Island, New York. And uh, obviously it's because it's got the Boston Bruins, and I'm a Bruins fan. I'm a fan of any Boston team. So there you go. And it's a motorcycle given to him by Bobby Orr. Oh, my God. This is a valuable, valuable piece right here. Then we got over here next to it. I don't know if you can see that there. That's the angel on a motorcycle pin that Aeroliner 750 also gave me. Isn't that nice? Protecting my dumb ass when I'm on my motorcycle. And uh, just an added feature here. There's this other pin. This is my hog mileage pin. I took and put it on my jacket this morning. I might have done a video already about that. But anyway, I thought I'd mention those things and I want to say a special thank you to Aeroliner 750 for these wonderful pins. I don't know if you can see that there. This is the hog mileage program pin i am a member of the harley owners group and one of the benefits of membership is you log in and you record your mileage and for certain uh, mileage landmarks you get pins like thousand ten thousand that kind of thing so i'm at 20 i think as of this I was 24,900 and something. Now I'm at 26,000. See, I sent in paperwork on the pen when I was at 24,900. Now I'm at 26. So I think when I get to 30, I can get another pen. I also got a patch. Yay, a patch and a pen. Because, you know, we Harley people, we love our patches and pens. Don't we? 26,261 miles. Not bad, not bad, not bad at all. The bike is filthy. But who wants to clean a bike when, it's, when the heat index is 112? Not I, said the professor. Not I. What's on my mind is, well, the Harley Owners Group. I've got that pin and patch yesterday. I'll put that patch on my leather coat, I guess. Or maybe my... I'll keep it on this. I'm not sure yet. But, I'm happy to, uh... to have it. Little, little keepsakes for the mileage that I accrue over time. And I'm wondering... Uh, for those of you who ride another make of motorcycle, if it matters to you, or if you would appreciate it, if there were some kind of a majorly huge owner's group for your make, like Harley has this gigantic owner's group with millions of members, apparently, uh, all around the world, and they get together every Thursday night, at least at my dealership, they get together every Thursday night, and they have meetings, and some of them show up at noon and they stay there till like 7 p.m. when the meeting starts. I mean, it's amazing. The hangarounds, I guess you could call them. Probably the old timers, you know, having a coffee, shooting the breeze. But uh, they have meetups all the time. They meet up Tuesdays, they meet up Thursdays, they meet up Saturdays, Sundays. They do charity rides to raise money for cancer and. Uh, to raise money for those who have fallen, you know, all kinds of things. They're always raising money. You show up, you pay ten bucks, you get a pin, or you get a patch, and you, you ride, you know, with your buddies. Of course, you know, it depends on how many show up, but, I mean, a lot of them up in Raleigh, they show up in droves, so. You're on a ride of, let's say, anywhere between 50 and 300 bikes on a given day, on a Saturday or a Sunday especially. And you, you ride to different locations and then they have a barbecue. You eat barbecue for a while and you hang out with your buds.
provide something on camera. Uh, but they help foster and take care of the border collies and make sure that you know, the border collies are treated as uh, they uh, come out. happens every Saturday. Every Saturday they do something like this at a ride, memorial, fundraiser, uh, and hundreds of people turn out. And the ride is not even for another two hours yet and they're already assembling. So this is pretty nice. That's one of the benefits of being a Harley rider is you can join the Harley owners group. It's like 40 bucks a year. You can join for longer terms for less money total cost anyway and then suddenly you're you're part of this huge society really of fellow riders and they all treat you like family I showed up at uh, the dealership on Saturday last uh, last Saturday after I uh, said goodbye to Chuck and they had uh, Krispy Kreme donuts and cookies and coffee and tea and all kinds of soda, all of it free. Every weekend's like that. And tons of people, and there's a hot dog stand selling hot dogs at like 50 cents a piece. They have chili cook-offs, they have uh, Brunswick stew cook-offs. There's always something to do with a whole bunch of people when you're a Harley rider. I imagine that there are probably smaller, perhaps more intimate groups. Ooh, I just scraped. There are probably smaller, more intimate groups of Honda riders and such, and I, I imagine it's probably more suitable to the style of riding that you guys do. If you're on a sport bike, you know, you really need 300 sport bikes going from from uh, you know, locale to locale, and it's not always a bar. It's you know sometimes a restaurant, sometimes it's a memorial, sometimes it's just somebody's house where they're having a barbecue. But if, you, if there are 300 of you, you can't really enjoy your sport bike because you want to, you know, go into twisties and you want to speed up real fast and all that. It's kind of hard to do on a big ride. But I'm wondering, if you had that option available to you to, to join a giant owner's group and have membership all over the world and be able to hook up with other riders like yourself pretty much instantaneously no matter where you go, would you take advantage of that? I appreciate having the Harley Owners Group and I'm, I'm happy to be a member. A paying member. I like the little patches and pins. I'm a patch pin type of guy. Mementos, really. That's my tchotchke. Some people collect trinkets and they stick them on their wall. Well, I collect trinkets and stick them on my jacket. Don't you turn in front of me, you stupid... Oh, that reminds me. Last night on the way home, I saw a rider down. There were like 20 people already surrounding him, so I kept going. I was in my car. But uh, at about 10 o'clock last night, I saw a 50-something-year-old guy face down on the road, his bike all tipped over. He had a Harley, or it looked like a Harley from underneath. It's hard to tell, really, but I think it was a Harley. Didn't have his helmet on, which makes me kind of scared that maybe somebody took off his helmet. I know he must have been wearing one because you have to in this state. But God, I hope he's alright. Okay, folks. I hope you're having a good one. I'll see you later.